What is the best amount of sets and reps to build muscle and get ripped? Have a look at studies on physiology. I've heard about powerlifting programs and bodybuilding programs. Comparing the seven set three rep model compared to the three sets 12 rep model. To our knowledge, we've heard that seven by three gives greater strength and the same amount of hypertrophy compared to the three by 12. Can briefly touch on how muscle is built. This video is made for beginner to intermediate users of the gym. All systems function, yet none endure indefinitely. Those acquainted with this philosophy are aware that variation is good. Just like varying exercises, rep counts, rest intervals, training divisions, and even the tempo of repetitions. In today's video, we will talk about various methods of repetition techniques that hold the potential to transform your workouts, yielding superior results for your activities. From a scientific perspective, our understanding of muscle growth remains somewhat limited. However, based on both research findings and decades of observations from bodybuilders, it's established that utilizing rep ranges around 8 to 12 reps per set appears to be most effective for fostering muscle growth. On the other hand, repetitions of 6 or fewer seem to be optimal for building strength. Nevertheless, there persists a debate in many fitness circles regarding the superiority of heavy weights and low reps versus lighter weights and higher reps for muscle development. After your workout, your body repairs or replaces damaged muscle fibers through a cellular process where it fuses muscle fibers together to form new muscle protein strands or myofibrils. These repaired myofibrils increase in thickness and number to create muscle hypertrophy, growth, Muscle growth occurs whenever the rate of muscle protein synthesis is greater than the rate of muscle protein breakdown. This adaption, however, does not happen while you actually lift the weights. Instead, it occurs while you rest. Studies conducted in Finland and the United States provide further endorsement for the efficacy of higher rep ranges, specifically 8 to 12. These studies involve subjects performing a leg workout, with one group doing 5 sets of 10 reps and another performing 15 sets of one rep. Following the workout, muscle samples were immediately taken from the quadriceps of analysis of biochemical factors associated with muscle growth. The focus of their investigation was on the mitogen-activated protein kinase, MAPK, signaling pathways, a known catalyst for muscle growth. The findings, published in the Scandinavian Journal of Medicine, Science and Sports, revealed that an increase in MAPK signaling was observed only in the group that performed the five sets of 10 reps. Conversely, the group employing one rep sets with very heavy weights did not experience a boost in MAPK signaling. If your primary goal is muscle growth, it's crucial to incorporate a substantial portion of your workouts within the optimal range for muscle development, between eight and 12 reps. However, it's important not to get stuck exclusively in this range. Prolonged adherence to a specific rep range can lead to a plateau and hinder your progress. This is why it's equally vital to incorporate training with heavy weights and lower reps, fewer than 8 reps per set, even as low as 2 per set, as well as very light weights for higher reps, more than 12 reps and occasionally as high as 30 reps on certain sets. This diversified approach ensures ongoing progress and sustained muscle growth. Moreover, it imparts a broader spectrum of benefits to both your muscles and overall physique, including heightened strength and endurance. Typically, aiming for a range of 6 to 20 reps per set proves most effective for muscle building. Some experts even advocate for a wider spectrum, ranging from 5 to 30 or even 4 to 40 reps per set. When it comes to major compound lifts such as squats and deadlifts, a range of 6 to 10 reps often yields optimal results. Conversely, for smaller isolation exercises, like bicep curls or tricep extensions, a range of 12 to 20 reps tends to be more effective. For individuals experiencing joint discomfort, opting for higher rep ranges such as 12 to 40 reps per set can provide relief. On the other hand, if you're focused on enhancing your one rep maximum strength, favoring lower rep ranges, specifically 4 to 10 reps per set is advisable. Otherwise, it's generally recommended to allocate the majority of your training within the 6 to 20 rep range, occasionally verifying between as low as 4 reps and as high as 40 reps per set. So, we hope you learned something from today's video and you'll incorporate it in your next workout. 
genetics and personal preference will factor into what rep ranges you prefer too. And some people's shoulders ache when they bench too heavy, others when they bench too light. Some people's lower backs get beat up with low rep sets of deadlifts, whereas others get winded before they can finish a set of 10. So there's plenty of room for personal preference. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.